Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer, and currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be seeing one interview scenario. Okay, interview scenario based on dynamic measure slicer. Okay, this is the problem statement given by the interview panel. Okay, now let's try to analyze what they are trying to ask and implement this. So, this is the data set they have provided. Let's go with the data set. What is there in this data set? Okay, it's a order related table, an e commerce order related table where we are having some order IDs, order date. Ship date, shipment mode, some customer information like ID segment, uh, states, region, products, subcategory and some product information we have. Okay. We also have sales, quantity, profit, discount. Okay. This is our data set provided and this is the problem statement. Okay. Create a dynamic measure slicer. For the measures, they are asking total orders, total profit, total quantity and total sales. Okay, complete total one they want for orders, profit, quantity and sales. And this all the measures should be part of one filter it seems. The user should have the flexibility to filter any one measure in the slicer. So, all these measures should be part of a slicer. And based on the measure they are selecting the visual has to change accordingly okay we already know that in a slicer we can drag and drop a column but not a measure right but see the tricky question right what they are asking dynamic measure slicer means all the slicer we need to put into a measure but we know that it's not possible to drag and drop a measure to a slicer now, how can we implement this? Right? Yes. Directly, we cannot drag and drop a measure to a slicer. But we can still achieve this dynamic measure slicer. Okay. Let's see how we can implement this. First, let's break down this problem. Okay. This is the problem statement. Let's break down this problem and slowly we will implement everything. First, they are asking all these measures, right? Like total orders, total profit, total quantity and sales. Let's create that. Okay. I'm creating one more table. Under home, enter data. I'm going with this table. Just creating one small table for storing all my calculations. Okay. Storing all my measures. This is my calculation table. In this calculation table, I will create now all the measures I wanted. Okay. New measure. What is the measure which they are asking for? Total orders. So, I will give orders equal to. I will take this count of from this table only. This is the order table where we are having all this information. So, I will take this order ID. Count of order ID. I'm taking this count of order ID and I'm also creating all the required measures which they are asking in the problem statement they have asked, right? So, all these measures I'm trying to create. One is orders, one more profit, total profit they want. So, I'm using the sum function, sum of, there is a profit column in this order table. So, I'm taking this sum of order of profit. What else they are asking? Orders, profit, quantity and sales. So, I will select this one. One more measure. Quantity. Quantity equal to quantity column we already have in this table. So, I am taking this sum of that quantity value for total quantity. Right? For total quantity, we will be taking this sum function. And then 
I am also taking one more measure for sales value. Now the sales is sum of the sales column in this table. Okay. Now whatever the measures they have asked, I have created that. Right. Now the user should have the flexibility to filter any one measure in the slicer it seems. We already know that in a slicer we can add only a column, not a measure. So what we can do now, we can create one single column in a table which will have the value similar to this measure. Okay, let's create that and then we will apply the logic. I am trying to create now one more table. One more table. This is for measure, dynamic measure table. So, in this, I am giving select a measure. So, this column we will be drag and dropping in the slicer. Okay. So, we will add all the values. Orders. Profit, one PT, whatever the measures we have created, right? The same thing. I'm trying to add here the values orders, profit, quantity, and sales. Then click on load. Okay. We can load this one. Now, this is my slicer. This is my slicer. Now in this slicer, I can drag and drop this column. Select a measure column, right? Select a measure column. So based on the whatever the measures he is selecting, that value should appear in the visual. Okay. And it also should dynamically change. Now I am going to write the actual logic. Okay. Let's see how we can create that logic. In this, calculation table only I will try to create one measure where I will come to know what is the value which user is selecting in this slicer for that I am writing something called selected value okay this is the measure which I am creating and I am using the function called select value function okay this is a beautiful function which will easily return the value of whatever the user is selecting in this slicer. Okay. So, selected value of what is this table name? Measure table. This is the measure table. And the column here is a select a measure column. So, I am selecting this one. Selected value of table name of column name. That's it. If you want to know what this will return, just I will take one card and show it to you what it will return okay i will take one card here and i will put this selected value since they have not selected anything it is blank if they are selecting orders you can see the selected value is returning the orders why because the user have selected this orders that is what we have given in the measure as well selected value of table name of column name in this slicer, whatever the user will select, obviously the value will come here in this selected value. This function will return this value. Now, I will write the actual logic now. Okay. The actual logic I will write now. That is value column which we want to pass in the visual. Okay. Now, I am creating one more measure. In this measure, I will be passing in a visual. Okay, let's see how we can achieve this one. Okay, so since I have four different measures, I have to check for four different conditions, right? Whether he is selecting orders, whether he is selecting profit, quantity or sales. So, since multiple conditions are there, I am going and using this function called switch function. Okay, switch function, that syntax is true. Now I will give all the functions and I will give what the value it has to assign. Okay. Now 
it's the selected value okay the measure if the selected value whatever the user has selected right this selected value measure which i have created this value if this value is equal to profit then return the profit measure i mean here assign this profit value to this value measure okay alt enter to go to the next line if this selected value if this selected value is quantity then you have to give this quantity measure okay you are assigning this quantity measure to this value if this selected value is four measures we have written right so for that four logics i am writing profit quantity sales then give the sales alt enter to go to the next line if it is the rest remaining one is orders if it is orders then give this orders measure okay just in the i'm using the switch function switch function selected value measure i have already created that measure that measure will return the value whatever the user is selecting okay whether he is selecting orders or whether he is selecting profit or he is selecting quantity or he is selecting the sales whatever he selects the selected value function will return okay so whatever it will return that i am checking here if it is selected as profit then as in this profit measure if it is quantity then give this quantity measure if it is sales give the sales measure orders will be orders measure okay now the based on the value the user is selecting automatically this measures will be assigned to this value okay now i will create the now i will create the visual okay let's take a simple visual now i'll take one simple visual here i can select anything let's take region okay in x axis i am taking this region and in y axis i will be taking this value measure which i have created right now and i will turn on this data labels as well i will turn on this data labels as well now if i am selecting orders i am seeing region wise orders if i am selecting profit i am seeing the region wise profit if i am selecting quantity i am seeing this region wise quantity this is the quantity value if i am selecting sales i am seeing region wise the sales value okay now even this title also you are seeing right here the value this also should be dynamic whenever i am changing the measure here accordingly the title also should be dynamic just what you can do is select this visual go to general title in title you are seeing something here the title remove this title and give this also dynamic okay here you can see fx click on this fx go to this and give this selected value okay this measure just select this measure and click on okay now you can see the title also dynamically see sales sales value region wise sales value here you can see when i am selecting quantity here you can see this title is also changing this dynamically what if now i want to see this is region wise right region wise whatever the measure i am selecting if i want to see region wise orders i am able to see this region wise order if i want to see region wise profit i am able to see 
region wise quantity you are also am able to see see you can also see that values are changing sales also you can see whatever i am selecting also for cross verification i have put the card here you can see that so these values are only changing dynamically okay finally we have achieved this one that is what they are asking right dynamic measure slicer okay all these are measures i have created separately since directly you cannot drag and drop okay see i am taking one slicer here i am taking one slicer directly if i drag and drop this slicer right on this this measure on a slicer it is not accepting see i am drag and dropping for this slicer this is my slicer i am trying to drag and drop a measure it is not at all taking it it will not accept right it can only accept a it can only accept a column not a measure okay that is why what i have done i have created one table i have created one measure table this is the table which i have created this is the measure table i have created and in this i have given whatever the measures i need to create that name i have given okay as a each uh, record okay i have given here and then using this logic using this logic switch function and the selected value function i am able to achieve my dynamic measure slicer now if you want to see same thing orders profit quantity and sales by category what you can do you can create one more visual just one more visual category wise whatever the values you select it has to change dynamically so i can go to this order table and i can pick that category one on x axis and on y axis i will take this value measure and i will turn on the data labels so that you can see that value now if i select orders here also i have to change the title dynamically so i am selecting this visual general go to this title instead of this static title i want dynamic title so click on this fx and give here search that selected value measure which you have created and then click on okay now you can see even category wise orders is dynamic when the user is selecting profit category wise profit he can see quantity if he selects quantity he can see and sales if he can select he can see that sales also so finally i have achieved this dynamic measure slicer using the logic called switch function and the selected value function okay uh, thank you all for watching this for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you